Hello folks, this is Aditya Nachha from InspireToRise.com and today we are going to teach you how to install a RAM module in your laptop. So guys, the first thing that you have to do in such a situation is that you have to buy the RAM module itself. Mostly the RAM for the newer laptops is DDR3L with a voltage of around 1.35 volts. Though DDR3 RAM would also work fine in most of the cases in your laptop, but having the DDR3L is almost better as it does not allow for overheating and is better so first thing that you have to do is just make sure that you buy the right ram module for your device and then unscrew all of the back screws of your laptop this is a very complex and painful procedure in case you don't have the right screwdriver so always make sure that you have the right Phillips screwdriver which is for the really small screws and then open up all of those small screws on the back of your laptop and another thing that is worth noting is that most of the laptops are just easy to open you just have to open up the back screws and then the whole of the laptop is accessible to you but in many cases like in ours laptop which is the Lenovo 50NT pain laptop it's actually a pain to open this up in this specific case it wasn't the same and you have to open up pry open the keyboard also in order to get access to the back motherboard and the ram etc so that's a very difficult issue and in such laptops what you have to do is after unscrewing everything just take the keyboard a little bit uh, take the keyboard apart you don't have to literally take it apart you just have to open it up using your nails or something hard and then just uh, disconnect the keyboard from its connections very easily very slowly and then after that when you are done disconnecting it just take it off very nicely and then place it in a secure place and then you will see that there are three or four more screws that need to be opened up in order to gain access to the RAM area of your laptop this is by far one of the most complex procedures that I have ever seen in opening a laptop on this specific laptop so that's why I decided to make a video because it was quite painful to make the video on this one and I had to work a lot for this one so when this was done you have to pry open the whole laptop with your fingers which is quite annoying and you have to uh, be sure though at certain points of time it would feel like that the laptop is almost going to die but it's not the case you just have to apply the right amount of pressure and once you are done doing that you can just remove the back like we removed it here and just make sure that everything is in place and remove the DIMM by sliding open the left and right sockets and you have the we had a 4 gb plus 8 gb configuration now we have a 8 gb plus 8 gb configuration so that's around 16 gigs of ram on our primary editing machine this laptop right here is the primary editing machine for almost all of the inspired rise videos and it, the ram module just insert it at a slant angle press it nicely and then push it downwards once that is done what you would like to do right now is to check whether the RAM has been registered correctly or not. Just boot up your laptop in case it's working fine. That means the RAM is working fine. Just switch it off and you have to reinsert the keyboard again, which is also quite a painful procedure. And once you are done, reins uh, once you are before reinserting the keyboard, just make sure that you check everything for loose connections, uh, which might have occurred because of what you have been doing since quite some time. And then you can also do is vacuum blow all of the things and just make sure there's no dust anywhere because laptop has moving parts inside and the dust tends to get accumulated over there. So just remove all of the dust and then screw everything back again starting from those three four screws underneath the keyboard and then what you have to do is after you are done screwing them just place your keyboard right back in place and then you have to connect those two connectors also for the keyboard and just make sure that you connect them properly otherwise your keyboard might not work properly 
and just connect them properly take your own sweet time while doing this we are that's why we are showing all of this in fast forward because we took quite a lot of time to connect everything and get everything right and then just press the keyboard with certain amounts of force at the right points to make sure it is fit properly and when you are done doing that everything would be fine and then you have your laptop almost ready just screw the back also everything in place so guys this was it in case you found this guide useful don't forget to hit the thumbs up do share it with your friends because most of our friends are often fearful of opening up their laptops and uh, tinkering with things but the first thing that we did when we bought a new laptop was change the internal hard drive within ssd and few other things that we did so it feels nice to just change few components on your own so guys this was it for this video in case you like this one don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel this is Aitana Jha from InspireToWise.com signing off folks stay inspired to us.